another um, voiceover. I hope you like these. Okay, I'm trying to talk closer to the mic so that you can hear me clearly. So I'm going in with my Mehron palette. Like, love this palette. It's the Paradise one. So it's like, but they come in a bunch of different colors. I have just the standard colors. And I'm mixing red and blue. Yeah, well, at this moment, I'm blue and white to get like a lighter blue. I couldn't decide if I wanted like a blue, or, but I switch it to more purple later. So I'm applying it with the brush and then I go in with the beauty blender to like blend out the edges. And then I'm using my Kat Von D foundation that I still think looks too yellow for like the rest of my face. I only use this foundation when I'm doing like makeup looks like in the house or when I'm taking pictures. Like this is not like my go-to in case you were wondering. And I'm jamming. So I'm just gonna blend this bitch out. Um, being careful around the parts where I've already applied the purpley paint thing like um, you know this the, by my nose it kind of looks like that um, that violet ugh, no that's not her name violet whatever her name is from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory you know that trend that's going around like doing the nose like violet and then it looks similar so gonna continue to do that blending everywhere blending is probably the most boring part to watch so sorry still blending and i'm tired of blending so i'm trying not to stick out my tongue like last time like i was so annoyed watching myself stick out my tongue <laughs> and i was like taking a picture or i think a video and i went to stick out my tongue again and my mom told me that the sticking the tongue out thing was so annoying so i hear the concerns from the general public and i'm trying to be better at it so if you see me pucker my lips a lot, so every time like I pucker my lips or I make like a kissy face, that's me like wanting to stick my tongue out, but I'm trying not to. Okay, so I'm going back in layer, especially it depends on the color. Um, some of the colors you need to layer it to get like a brighter effect. And then I'm using um, a brush, just a random brush and brushing out like the edges to make it a little more greeny with red and blue and mix it together to and white to make it like more purpley now just blending out the edges so it doesn't look so harsh from my forehead to the rest of you I'm gonna use my eye primer milani um, nyx gray earthy toned brown i don't know i was trying to use it as a transition color Oh, and I love this mochi palette. I basically bought it for highlighting, but it's so cute. So I'm using that, and I'm also using my NYX Glitter Glue because that holds, like, any pigment, any shimmery, any glitter. Like, it keeps it in place. Like, it doesn't leave. It makes it brighter. So the mochi palette is already, like, very pigmented, but then when you put the NYX Glitter Glue on under, it makes it hella pigmented. So I'm using, um like silvery blue colors like the inner corner area of my eyeballs and just patting that on do 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 i also put on contact lenses I'm so excited because i really wanted purple contact lenses i put those bitches on and you can't see them not see them like my brown eyes is too dark it makes it it's just like it's too fucking dark and i was so mm. okay now i'm going in with black and just blending that in to make it like a cat eye okay back to the contact lenses i just need to vent about this because i think i'm wearing them here right now if you look close you kind of see like right now i could see, okay you see that like you could see that my eyes aren't brown there they look kind of blue though but that's not the color it was supposed to be it was supposed to be a cute purple um not the color of my forehead or like pinky purple and i was so stoked on these things because i got them for 14 dollars. i was gonna order them online for 24 but then i saw these at the beauty supply store and my cousin was also like oh she's heard good things about the brand prism and they feel nice i could see clearly through them um it was easy to pop them in so i was like okay i'm happy and then i looked in the mirror after i put them on and you can't even see them I'm taking a black um, from Jordana, and it's just like a shimmery black, but it, can't, it doesn't really come off like shimmery. And I'm taking foundation, just the cat eye portion, like sharper. 
But yep, so that's me venting about my fucking um, contact lenses. So then I went back into the mem palette and mixed the um, red, blue, and white. And I just like went over my eyebrows and I actually hit them like like this eyebrow. You see like they're rounded. I was like, what the fuck? I'm not good at doing my brows. I don't do my eyebrows. Um, so whenever I do anything new with them and it doesn't come out, I'm just like sad. Um, I'm taking a, I think it's Wet n Wild, purple liquid liner and I'm just bringing it down to be a little cat eye. And the pink under my eyes is also from the Meron palette. And I'm using that same pink shade from, from the G palette. And I'm using that same pink shade to go over like wherever I put the body paint. And now I'm going to put on um, some false lashes in the bottom. I tried to put false lashes on top, but I just did not like how it looked with this makeup look. I really wanted to try like gem um like freckles so I have these little purple gemstones and I just put a lash glue and maybe I wanted and I'm just like randomly putting them there um I wasn't gonna show this process but I'm just showing you like how long like this is slightly sped up but this is like literally how long it took me to just peel them from the sticky part and put them in my face um it's a minute like you see how slow that was now imagine doing that all over my face so I'm showing you my lipstick options, trying to decide what I want. Um, couldn't decide, but I ended up going with, of course, the unicorn um, black lipstick. I lined my lips first with a black liner. So I'm using that all over my lippies. And then I'm using this Milani blue glitter. It's super pretty. I'm just like going over that, make it like shiny and sparkly because I don't know, unicorns are shiny and sparkly to me. Ooh, I'm out of breath. How do people do this in one go? So I'm putting on this little cute unicorn headband thingy. It's from Spirit Halloween and honestly I love it. It's have a review on this wig if you're curious it's from diva trust finish look oh, no.